Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. Well, it, it, you know, it seems really clear, Lana, that no matter where people are in the world, there are these awakening symptoms or these new earth awakening signs that people are experiencing no matter where they are, you know, no matter what country, right. no matter what creed, no matter what anything, we're as one humanity experiencing certain things that things feel a little different and we're wondering why. I'd like to ask you, I mean, as people come to you, what are some of the signs that like they're ripe for this new earth energy and awakening this this new way of being it's almost like birthing like a caterpillar going into the cocoon and, and becoming the butterfly what are some of the signs that they tend to report like before this happens um oh my gosh this is is varies from person to person of course but but people begin to sense or feel a longing to connect to have deeper connections those that, that go through an awakening begin to expand their point of view and their sense of connection to things, their, their connection to the non-physical realms and their intuition, their higher mind, their higher self to the spirit realms begins to expand and they begin to explore these things. And what happens on a, we have a, a logarithmic connection to our, the vibratory state that we're in and the, the level of consciousness that we, we have in our day-to-day -day experience and the level that we're able to maintain and carry through into through our life stream. So as, the, as this happens, there are many, many changes that happen to our body systems, our consciousness, our mm. nervous system in particular. And I couldn't help but laugh when you were describing your technical difficulties because it really parallels what people are going oh. through on an individual basis. So we have these new energies coming through in waves, like pulses, over time. As, the plant, as we've entered a new cycle of humanity, a new experience that's birthing in each of us. And it shows up differently, but we have some common things. And we have to, to our nervous system and our brain and our body systems needs to be a different kind of container, which is why we need to entrain and learn to use these energies intelligently and differently. We need to operate. We have a different operating system, and we need to be wired differently, energetically. Mm -hmm. And if we take in too much... New, new energy, it takes a while to integrate it and synthesize it into our daily life, just like the energies that kind of blew out your computer system too much, yes. in a, you know, in the same thing. And I'm going, so the, and so what I've been seeing in people from all walks of life all over the world is that there's an enormous amount of pressure to want to, to synthesize and integrate all of the sense of expansiveness that's happening through people's lives, through their relationships, through their work, through their exploration of the soul, all the, whatever label they want to put on it, but they can't move forward all the way or they can't quite make sense of it or they're still feeling too much pressure between the human portion and the expanded awareness that's coming, coming into play. And so these, what happened was I, I was asking about this last year and I took a, a beautiful trip to Australia, and, and the spirit of the place there appeared to me. I began, I was met by the ancestors in these beautiful rainbow beings who showed me how in the same way that we ourselves as human beings are changing in our consciousness, growing and expanding through our different dimensions of experience, and the, and the, the earth is also in a very, very special time. It's also... Mm -hmm awakening and changing and there's an enormous amount of energy being released and there's an enormous amount of energy and different qualities that are that are very useful to us for anchoring integration synthesis and balance so restoration and if we think about we're used to thinking of restoration as, as fixing healing but it's really bigger than that it's a matter we're wanting to unify synthesize 
aspects of ourselves that have felt fragmented or maybe been more on the periphery, and now we're putting them all together, and they're all learning to sync up and work in unison. So these earth energies and these sacred sites are imbued with very specific qualities. So imagine in the same way that we wake up and we begin to conceive of ourselves in a new way, right? Yes. And there's new energies yes. coming through, new consciousness streaming through. It's happening literally all around the planet. And these, there are all these sacred sites that are waking up and they're, they're vibrating at a particular rate and they, they, they can imbue our, our nervous system, our consciousness with, um, with these frequencies in a way that, that deepen our connection and our intimate rapport with nature and also with ourselves and our higher selves, if you want to call it that. But it's really one being. <laughs> so. Wow. And I want to talk a little bit about this, and we're going to be experiencing it. We're going to be taking live questions. We're going to be sharing a bunch today. So stay uh, as long as you possibly can. You're going to get energy through this whole call. Lana, for people that may not be familiar with you, how did this journey start with you and, uh, like, your process, and um, how do you actually see and perceive energy? Yeah. Oh, well, this is fun. So so when I was born, I had a, a, the awareness that I was incarnating a very intense time on this planet. I was, you know, both in this little tiny baby body with my awareness was kind of like an adult. <laughs> in many regards, and I was aware that I was coming in um, to this lifetime to do some specific work, not not that I'm holding myself out to be the only superhero on the planet, but I'm saying that it's unusual because most people, you know, don't carry that, that continuity of, oh, I, I, you know, I was such and such in my past life, and I did this, and this is why I'm here, and I know what I'm doing, and I was very aware of this new cycle of humanity that was, was coming forward and was being seeded throughout the earlier years, so we're talking about the 60s and 70s and 80s. And, and I was told that there would be a vibrational change that would affect the consciousness and, and ultimately result in a paradigm shift in people's awareness of who they are and why they're here. And then my work, uh, as will be with others, would be to show them how to put this into practice, how to make sense of it and understand it, because we're talking about such a huge change in, in how we perceive of ourselves, what lens we're looking through, and how to operate with a whole new system of references that it's really discombobulating. And all mm -hmm. of that's happening internally while we're entering this new cycle of human experience as a collective. And so imagine the opportunities and the potential, but probably a sense of almost overwhelm at times and, and disorganization that happens when things are brand new because we don't have a rule set yet. We're learning to create the rules, right? And so, yes. here, we, so here we are with all of this. And so how that ties to me personally is that I've always been able to see multidimensionally, which is different okay. um, for most people. I can see the quantum field, if you will. I can see the, uh, how the body, the emotion, the emotional body, the mind, which was usually we just think of our brain and our, our mental noise and all that, but we also have a higher mind, which is non-physical. The psychic bodies, which include our, our chakras and meridians in the body system, and then the auric field and the energy bodies around us, and the spiritual realm. So usually we think of our spirit as something separate that we're trying to get into and connect with. But I, I know that that's all, all part of our totality. And we want all of these facets of our experience, and I can see them, how they interact, how they're unique, but also how they're connected and how they flow and how to help them flow um, more smoothly, if you will, gently, easily. And I'm actually bringing in some energies here while we're talking. I'm bringing in some earth energies to just bring it into the system in a way that keeps us from feeling overamped, overwhelmed, and confused. So we, we, we can start out with this, a lot of the times what happens with people and what's been happening a lot in the last year is we get these vibratory changes. But again, just like your computer, it blows it out or it's too much. Right. And right. so people start feeling anxious. They feel overamped. And maybe they're feeling really inspired and aware on some level, but they can't take that next step or they call me up. I get these calls every, almost every single day because I do sessions at least five or six days a week, one-on-one -on -one with people. And they'll tell me, you know, they'll describe all this beautiful consciousness they're having, but they can't take that next step. They're like, I feel like I can't move. I can't get out of bed. It's like because their systems are still overamped. And so what Spirit was showing me is that what, what's missing is that 
yet, it's what we haven't developed yet, I won't say it's necessarily missing, but it's underdeveloped, is our awareness and our symbiotic connection on an energetic level to the planet itself, to the earth energies and elements in a new way as well. So as we are becoming new, aware of ourselves in a new fashion, so the planet is, again, alive and awakened and reconceiving of itself, redreaming itself, and we need to develop a new relationship with it. And while we do that, we're growing new maps in consciousness. We're cementing and strengthening the stability yeah. within ourselves. And, you know, it brings us to a, a, a level of stability and grounding that, that transcends just sitting in meditation and sending a cord down in the center of the planet. It's like we want that integration to flow through all these systems so that we can really get out there and do what it is that, we, that we're seeing and sensing the potential for. We want to make happen in, our, in an everyday way. Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barzani, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now daily where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join, and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you like to see more of it, Click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.